family welcome to a new vlog it is sunday so i thought we could do a chill sunday reset because god knows my apartment needs some cleaning and some resetting and honestly i do too to like prepare me for the coming week i definitely have a more chill week than last week which i'm looking forward to because i just feel like i need to get back on track with honestly everything in my life and i also need to start preparing for going home i'm going home like october 19th or 20th or something like that but i want to film a bunch of content that means like tiktoks youtube videos all that kind of stuff and you know get prepared for when i go home i can just like kind of edit everything and post i like my filming setup and i know when i get home i get so lazy because i'm home and i just feel like i'm on vacation um but also i don't have like all my lights and there's no way i'm bringing my lights home i mean i will probably get like two suitcases because i'm flying southwest but i definitely rather bring more shoes home than like my lights so i'm not gonna do that um not saying i won't do any content back home because i i want to like i feel like every time i go home i want to vlog like i always think i'm gonna vlog but then again i get so lazy and i literally don't do shit <laughs> there's this orange chair in my mom's house that we had like all growing up and i literally call it like my napping orange chair because I go to my mom's, I sit in that orange chair, and I nap, and I watch Netflix, and it's amazing. And I'm honestly looking forward to that. This morning, actually, my dad texted me, and he asked if I wanted to go to, like, someone's the volley party, and I was like, yes, are you kidding me? I grew up, like, going to, like, this one girl's the volley party every single year, and when I was younger, I would even dance in that. Maybe I'll try to show you guys the videos when I'm home, because we always kind of look at home videos when I'm home, but honestly, I haven't celebrated the volley in so long, because I usually don't go home in October, and that's when the volley is, I'm pretty sure um and i don't really have like a ton of brown friends here i feel like my whole life i've had struggles with my culture whether it was like not wanting to be brown because you know people would make fun of our henna and people would make fun of our food then now when i'm finally trying to embrace it i almost feel like i'm not brown enough because i don't know how to cook indian food and i don't really go to these celebrations and stuff like that well i'm also catholic so I'm not Hindu, my dad is, but he never really like went to temple and stuff growing up. So we would just kind of like go to like the volley parties and you know, celebrate the fun stuff. So yeah, I don't know. That was a random tangent, but he was telling me that I should like look for, you know, a new Indian outfit because it has been a freaking long time since I got an Indian outfit. I think it was like a year or two ago that a brand actually sent me one. So I definitely have that as a backup option. But before that, I think the Last time I got an Indian outfit was when we went to India, I believe in probably like high school, early high school. And that was like so long ago. I mean, they're beautiful and I might be able to fit in them. I'm pretty sure my mom has them all in her house. So I can always try them on, but why not get a new one, you know? I need a little bit of energy right now. So I'm gonna make a chai. I always use this one. It's the organic Tazo chai latte. And then we found this at the grocery store recently. It's extra creamy oat milk. Like, hell yeah, I'm all for it. So I'm just gonna pour in the chai first. I feel like this just gives me like that kickstart of energy that I need, but it doesn't make me like feel too anxious most of the time. <laughs> so we're just gonna get some of that. Right now, while the sun is out, I'm gonna take advantage and film some TikToks. I really want to start doing more styling and fashion videos. Like I always tell myself I'm going to. And the feeling when you put on like the cutest outfit is like the best. So I really want to try to do some of those today. Um, and I'm so excited because I actually just placed a pretty big order on Skims for like t-shirts because I've heard their t-shirts are really good. I actually have one t-shirt bodysuit and I love it. So um, I think these are more just like cropped t-shirts. So I'm planning on making a whole video to like really see like what the difference is because I feel like they all look the same. They just like all have different names. Um, so I feel like that could be a fun video or just like a TikTok. I've been meaning to do a little TikTok on styling these boots. It's getting chillier here. I literally feel like I tell you guys the weather like in every fucking clip, but I guess I'm the weather man. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like it's not fall just yet. And I was just thinking last fall, I swear I wore like my fall outfits maybe like two weeks and then bam, it was winter. I was like, what the heck? Like 
fall fashion is the best fashion, but it definitely feels like the shortest amount of time or like the shortest season, which sucks. But I'm gonna style these boots. I just pulled some outfits to show, cause, you know, the lighting, I feel like it goes in and out. So I wanna do it like as fast as I can. And yes, I put like my big cushion here cause it was just like taking up so much space and like blocking the way. I wish this room was like a little bit bigger. Obviously I can't complain cause I'm very, very, very grateful to even have like two rooms and like one being my filming room. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's a pigsty on the other side of this camera. Here's the first outfit, got the boots on. And as you can see, I don't believe in the don't wear white after Labor Day rule. I just love white pants for like any season. And these are newer in my wardrobe. These are from Abercrombie and they just like fit so well. I love like the stitching cause it's kind of a little bit different. It's very like subtle. My other white jeans from Abercrombie had like rips in them and I'm kind of getting over rips I feel like or I just wanted to like switch it up so anyways I got these and these are the boots on and then I have an Amazon puffer jacket and then just like a ribbed white crop top here's the next outfit I love a good sweater vest I feel like I wore them so much last fall and winter this one is from Amazon forgot to show you guys the boots that is like the main reason why I'm doing the styling sesh um but I feel like they pair so well together this one's definitely a classic I love this um what's it called flannel yes <laughs> I think it's from Princess Polly so I will try to link down below similar ones because I'm not sure if it's on the site anymore um but if it is I have a code Sonali for 20% off site-wide so if there's anything fall related that you like on Princess Polly, definitely be sure to use my code because I don't I don't get anything, but you get 20% off. So like literally, why not? Shirt from Misguided. Um, and then these jeans are from Abercrombie. And they have like a little cross asymmetrical thing going on. Find me in my corset top and my blazer. But I just got done filming a bunch of TikToks. I'm so, so excited. I have so much content to like pick from at least like for the next couple of days. Like literally TikTok content just doesn't last very long because you have to like post consistently. I'm sorry about all these shadows, it's kind of weird. But anyways, me and Sophie are hanging out here just for a little bit. I love to come out during sunset, especially because I'm usually always like attached to the screen during like the sunlight hours. So I try and come out here, sit with Sophie, enjoy the sunlight, and honestly just get fresh air. Good morning, it is actually the next day, it is Monday, and I'm gonna be honest, after I filmed content, I like went until the sun set and like literally was just like racing to beat the sun. I was so pooped after it, I just wanted to like chill on the couch and not talk to anyone. So I made dinner really quick, of course a frozen food because I could not be bothered to make anything else i had butter chicken which was really really good um and i watched the kardashians and then i went to bed but i am going to resume the sunday reset on a monday and that's fine because i feel like everyone has their different like reset days some people do it on a thursday you could literally do it whenever i mean self-care you can do any day obviously it's nice if you like pick up every day but i need to get better about that so that is on the agenda today it's just like kind of an admin day um because i actually cranked out a lot of content yesterday which i'm proud of myself for um but you guys do not even want to see this filming room because i did do some fashion tiktoks which means clothes are literally everywhere so cleaning up the house is definitely my number one priority of the day because i feel like when my space is cluttered my mind is cluttered so today we're actually going to start off the day with a little workout nothing crazy i think i just want to like walk on the treadmill and get my life together i love going on my phone and just like doing to-do list things that are on my phone on the treadmill while i'm walking because it just makes time go so much faster number one i'm going to clear my emails out because it's monday and i just i can't hide from my emails anymore unfortunately so gonna do that and then I feel like there's always like random videos to edit together for TikTok and then just like things to plan out. I feel like there's so many things that need to be planned out. This is like not work related, but I still don't have a Halloween costume. And everyone in my group chat last night like said what they were going to be in the group chat. And I was like, 
I cannot be the only one that doesn't know yet. <laughs> I think I just need to like sit down for like 20 minutes and just be like, okay, I am going to be this. I'm thinking like Willy Wonka. I'm just kind of leaning towards that costume. I used to love Willy Wonka, I still do. But then I was thinking I wanted to get Sophie a stitch costume, so maybe I could be Lilo, but I feel like that's a little boring. It's not basic, but just like boring. I'll keep you guys updated if I figure it out today. Just got done with my workout. I literally just walked on the treadmill at three speed and worked on my phone for a little bit. Um, but, you know, I burned some calories. It was better than nothing. And I have been getting questions about my hair care routine, honestly, for years. But I feel like especially now that I dyed my hair back to my natural color, um, I used to have like a balayage. And like, honestly, it used to be really light. I was like looking at photos from... Um, even just last year and I was like pretty much blonde like in some places it was crazy now that I'm looking back on it but I loved it at the moment and obviously like you know it's fun to switch up your hair I just thought it was time to go back but moral of the story is that I think that my hair just looks a lot healthier because it's darker and not that I'm saying it's really damaged right now because I just got a trim and I really don't think it is that bad but when your hair is lighter I feel like you can see that it's like more damaged if that makes sense so i think that's why i've been starting to get those compliments and i just wanted to show you guys what products i use i don't use anything crazy i just have a shampoo and conditioner that i use so i never like want to make a whole video on my hair care routine so i thought i would just add it in this vlog in high school and middle school my mom used to buy redken all soft shampoo and conditioner i literally used that from i want to say middle school up until literally college and i only stopped because I started getting hair brands sending me products and I obviously wanted to try them, especially Briogeo. Actually, this is um, one I use a lot. This is the Briogeo Scalp Revival. And the best part about this is that it has like that tea tree tingling feeling. Whenever my scalp is feeling itchy or just like really dry, I like to use this just to give it a little bit more something something. But I mean, sometimes I use like hair masks when I like have the time and that's like maybe once a month honestly and it's just like a bunch of different ones from like pr so that's another reason why i haven't really wanted to do a hair care routine because i've been like switching around to all these brands but i swear by red can also i used these for such a long duration while i was growing up and i just decided to go back to it because first of all it smells really good and honestly i just feel like it just does good things for my hair and then i just started using this literally two days ago but this is the Divi Hair Serum, I think. And this is a blogger's brand. It's Danny Austin's brand, if you guys don't know her. She's like an OG blogger. I think she lives in Dallas. It improves appearance of thin hair, nourishes hair follicles, and detoxifies product buildup. So I really wanted to start using this because, I don't know, every time like I put my hair up, like I just feel like, I don't know. I think this is normal. <laughs> But there's just like so much space when I'm like putting my hair up and I just feel like it could be a little bit thicker, especially because I dyed my hair back to black and I'm hoping to keep it just natural until I don't even know. I don't know if I'll ever really switch it up again, but we'll see. Never say never. Um, I mean, obviously this part is still bleach, so it's not like virgin hair just because you dyed it black, but I just wanted to, you know, take care of my hair a little bit. I just feel like this could be a lot thicker like it used to be. Um, and also, like, I just want it to be thicker throughout my hair. Because I feel like the ends, even though I guess I do have layered hair, so that's probably why. But, like, I just want it to be, like, throughout my hair. Just super thick hair like I used to have. So I purchased this on Amazon. And I'll, like, keep you guys updated if I see, like, any hair growth. I mean... I've seen like crazy before and afters. I was actually between buying this one and the Vegas hair growth serum. Was it called? V no, Vegamore, I think that's what it was called. But I went on their Instagrams and I saw Divi's like Instagram highlight stories and their before and afters had me shook. So I was sold on Divi. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I do to my hair. Um, I'll keep you guys updated if it like changes. I feel like in the past year, I've really tried to like slowly stop 
doing brand deals for hair care just because I feel like that is such a routine and I don't want to like switch it up every time. I don't mind trying out new products and like if I really like them like totally but I feel like my first viral videos on TikTok were hair related so then a lot of hair care brands like reached out to me um, which is awesome but I just feel like I don't know that's something that I want to like keep a routine and like consistent. Also I read like the reviews on this hair serum and it said it doesn't make it greasy but like my hair was like super greasy and I don't know if it's just my hair being greasy because yeah I maybe haven't washed it in a while but my hair doesn't usually get this greasy so I don't know if I like put too much product. I don't even know how often I'm supposed to be putting it in. I will probably have to research that. I just got ready for the day and I was playing around with like hair curlers like the hot rollers that's what I meant. The first ones I did were too small so they were like ringlet curls and they needed to be straightened so then I tried like the thicker ones and I think my hair is just fucked up from the first ones which sucks because I just washed it but hopefully it'll start to look okay. I got so much admin work done this morning which felt so good and now I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning. I have like a lot of dishes. I want to clean the kitchen. Things are kind of just everywhere, so I want to get that done and taken care of. I also just wanted to show you guys my Skims t-shirt thing because I was talking about it, I think, yesterday. And this is the t-shirt that's the bodysuit. I just have it in like a heathered gray color. I'm wearing a bra and it just like is so seamless, I feel like. And... I don't know the quality is just so good so i'll link it in the description below but like i said i'm just gonna create like a whole video i'll probably include this t-shirt bodysuit just so we can compare like all the t-shirts Since I just did the dishes, my hands are really, really dry. And I've started using a hand cream. This one's from Lux Unfiltered. I've used one from L'Occitane before, um, but I've really been liking this. I don't use it as consistently as I should, but it smells really good and it just like moisturizes them. And I found like when I have really dry hands, which I used to all the time, I would like kind of pick around my nails and then it would just like look really torn up on my fingernails which is so like random and weird but i finally figured it out and that's why i am trying to like have hand cream like everywhere like in the car i have like a little lox tan one and then in my house i have this one my friend andy actually just pulled it out of her purse the other day she had the same hand cream and i was like i need to start carrying it around in my purse because that just makes sense having hand cream whenever you just feel like really dry so I am trying to implement this more into my life because also like hands just look so much more pretty when they're like glowy. They literally, I don't know if you can like really tell, but they look like they're glowing compared to like my dry ass hands that I just had. Um, so yeah, this one's from again, Lux and Filtered, but I mean, you can get any hand cream. I just feel like this one's bougie and it makes me feel bougie and I like it. So when I reset, I like to go take a look at my goals and i actually have this one um canva project that has just like a graph of my followers which i know that followers aren't everything but i was talking to someone one time and they were like oh when you get to 100k followers on tiktok you're just gonna you know grow even more you're gonna get more brand deals all that kind of stuff so i've been really trying to work on my tiktok so that's kind of why i've been tracking it just to like see where i'm at so i wanted to show you guys that really quick i think i just like got this random canva template um but over here i have tiktok in a separate category because the followers like were way higher and the graph just like looked really funky um if I kept them all in the same one, but let me input that information. 
I love seeing like the actual graph change and when I hit enter that happens so here we go okay okay I feel like that's a good growth in the past what 20 days ish I said October 1st I would hit 100k but I guess we'll change that to November 1st <laughs> I'm sorry about the lighting I feel like it's going in and out <laughs> I feel like these past few days were so cloudy and that sucks when you're trying to film content especially like TikToks and transitions because you want the same lighting yesterday it was like really really annoying um so just bear with me but I'll up the lighting a little bit on the other graph i have my youtube instagram pinterest like to know it and amazon so like i don't really care about pinterest anymore i had like a phase where i did and i probably should but it's just not one of my main goals so i have all my goals down here again i put it for september 1st and i'm not sure if i hit all of them um but let's go ahead and input those okay so it looks like i grew a lot on like to know it recently so that's exciting i also just got a new phone and it's so annoying how i have to re-log into everything pretty much i mean my passwords are all saved but still i cannot get into my amazon account so i'll just leave that blank for now um but anyways i feel like these follower goals are kind of just a way to motivate me to be consistent on all these platforms because there is just so much to keep up with and like you always feel like you're not doing enough. So just kind of like coming back to this number goal kind of makes it a little bit easier and puts it into perspective for me. So that's why I have them, but I honestly don't really look at my followers unless I'm really doing this. So another thing I like to do on reset days is to fill out my income trackers. I honestly haven't done it in a while. I kind of forgot about them, um, but I do need to fill them out just to keep track for just tax information and all of that kind of stuff. I'm not going to show this because I have like names and information that I don't want out there, but basically because I have different streams of income, I want to keep them all kind of separated. And so I have one Excel sheet for photography, one for the income that I get from brand deals, one for YouTube AdSense, one for what is the other thing? I think there was like something else but you get the gist so i have like a column for like the date and the company that i worked with the deliverables because i do want to keep track of like how much i'm getting paid for what deliverable to keep in the archive just for me to know and for me to like you know be able to raise my rates in the future so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and start filling those out currently 7 p.m. and I just like filmed like a bunch of TikToks for my photography account and my personal account and I also filmed a brand deal so happy I got that out of the way but I have to edit two brand deals which are just TikToks so shouldn't take like too too long. I feel like with brand deals especially I try to like make sure everything's perfect before sending it over. But it is dinner time and this past like week or so I just have not wanted to cook at all. I definitely get into my phases of like, you know, wanting to try out new recipes and then just like literally not wanting to like clean or like cook the meal. Um, so I think we're going to just do a little rice bowl. I've definitely talked about this rice packet on my vlogs before. Something about this texture is so good to me and I love, love, love it. So I'm going to heat this up and then I got this at Trader Joe's the other day. Um, so I'm going to try this out. I've tried the doll. I don't know if I tried it from Trader Joe's, but it's all the same. So anyways, this is, um, an Indian blend of grains, vegetables, and spices. Guys, I'm like in my Indian food era, which, is, which should be my whole life. But honestly, sometimes I like kind of forget about it. And also it's kind of freaking expensive. It like adds up because you kind of want everything and you want like butter chicken. You want samosas you want the um what's it called pollock paneer like you want it all and the nons like oh my god if you get one non it's like this small and it's two dollars like it's not even a full non i just don't understand the prices these days so that's why i usually just wait to go home and get indian food sometimes we'll just get takeout which the indian food in atlanta is really really good we usually go to this place called zyka's and i was so mad at my sister last night because I was heating up a butter chicken from Trader Joe's, like a frozen meal. 
And I posted on my story, I was like, oh my god, it smells so good, I can't wait to go home, eat Indian food. Meanwhile, my sister sends me back a photo of her eating Zykas, which is like the food that I usually get when I go home. And I was so sad in that moment, because I was like, pretty happy about my damn butter chicken, but then I saw that, I was like, okay, well that looks a lot better than my butter chicken. But, the countdown to go home is like 10 days. And I feel like I'm not usually this excited to go home. I'm not really sure why, but I'm going during October. Now we have two the volley parties to go to. And also the leaves are gonna be probably so pretty. Ryan actually went to the Georgia mountains this weekend to see the leaves with his mom. So he was sending me all these photos and I was just so jealous. I wanna be where fall is. Okay, I'm gonna heat these both up in the microwave and then uh, like I said, I still have like a lot of computer work to do. I also have two galleries to edit. Um, so I'm going to do all of that while probably watching the Kardashians or YouTube or something. I feel like YouTube is just like not very interesting these days. I don't know why. For some reason, I'm just like not having like a YouTube. <gasps> Wait, shit. Bachelor in Paradise is on. There we go. Yes. But also it's kind of annoying because it's on Monday and Tuesday for literally the next, I don't even know, six or seven weeks. That is so much time that I'm giving to this damn franchise and I can't stop because I have to be in the know of what's happening. And I just am one of those people that I literally just can't stop, but I will complain. Find out right now on Bachelor in Paradise. 